Hey what is up guys it's your boy Z and welcome back to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. On this tutorial we are going to be building this awesome looking TNT semi trailer and we are building it in default guys. This also looks pretty cool in Flows HD as well. So the first things we're going to do is grab our first couple of blocks which are going to be stone slabs. We're just going to grab some blocks of redstone. We're going to grab a piston. We're going to grab a block of coal. We're also going to grab these stone bricks. We're also going to grab signs, cobblestone wall, and uh, some iron frames. And we'll get started on that. So what we're going to do is we'll come right here and we're going to place two blocks up and with a slab directly on the top. Knock the two blocks out and place another slab here. And then you've got two. You're going to count to 25. So two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Gonna come out on the side by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down here. And we're gonna place another set of 5 directly under the slabs. Just like that. We can close this off. Now all we have to do is just fill in the top layer with the slabs and we should be on the next step. Right, our next step is we're going to count in by two blocks and then the third, fourth and fifth we're going to knock them out and mirror image that. And from here we're going to grab our stone brick slabs and we're going to place one, two and three either side. Like so. And then directly underneath we're going to place our blocks of coal. Leaving a one spaced gap. From here we can put our item frames in now and then we'll go over the other side and do the same again. We're going to put our coal blocks in and our iron frames, just like that. From this point, we're going to dig down like so, and we're going to put in our cobblestone wall here behind the actual wheels. And we're just going to dig out the top and place them in like so. Then we're going to close that off and close that off and then close all this off as well. We're going to move over by two blocks, so one, two, and on the third one, let's dig down again, and we're going to come across, and with your slabs, you're going to put in nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we can close this off. So you've got that kind of little lip underneath. Now we're going to go to the front. And on the third block in, one, two, and three, to the right and the left, we're going to knock out. I'm going to drop down, and I'm going to dig this out and put our pistons in for our little stands, like so. Close this off, fly to the top, and then place in your blocks of redstone. Just like that. With your signs, you're going to place three on the front. You're going to place one here, one there, and then put your name is the number plate. So let's put in Zarius plays. Just like that. Cool. Now I'm just going to clear my blocks and I'm going to go and grab the color that I'm using, which is orange concrete. I'm also going to use some white concrete as well. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to come up by five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to fill all this in. This is a very nice color in default as well. So we've got that kind of look on the front. Then we're going to run all the way down the back. And we're going to fill all this in orange. So we can actually start preparing the white base of it as well. I'm going to come out to the side here and bring this up five. And once again, we're just going to close this off at the top. So it'll be nice 
unfold like that. Okay, so now you should have the top filled and the sides filled. So what we need to do now is we need to come down. Actually, we've got to get one thing down the front. So we go down the front and we've got to grab ourselves a tripwire hook. And with the tripwire hook, what we're going to do is we're going to run a tripwire hook all along the edge of the trailer, just like that. Because they're the, the locks. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in our white concrete. So we're going to count in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh one, we're going to knock that out and place a block. Then we're going to come up by one and then out by two. Then we're going to come up by one and out by one. Then we're going to go up to the top. And that is what we're going to knock out. We're going to fill all white. Don't worry about those tripwire hooks. Because we can put them back right after. So you should have that kind of pattern. Actually, we're going to take out this one and swap it over. Just like that. Not of speaking, what we'll do is we shall bring that over by one out there and just move it over by one block. So you should have something that looks like that. Now we can actually close these off again. And that's what we've got. You can actually run this across the top as well. And like normally, I'm not going to do this side. So we'll just do the back here and fill that bit in. Like that. Okay, now your next step is, and what I find in default, is these red sandstone stairs and the block are the best uh, choice for this build. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our stairs and we're going to come on this line here. We're going to come in by one block and knock out three. And put our stairs underneath and come out by one and then we're going to grab our redstone blocks and just pop that in there like so then what we're going to do is we're going to knock out four blocks and we're going to use the stairs to put the letter n so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a square and we're going to put that at the top and a square down the bottom and we'll grab our stair and we're going to turn that one around this way and we're going to turn the one upside down like that, which is going to give you the letter N. Then once again, we're going to knock out three blocks, put in the T upside down, and then fill that in with the redstone. And you should have that pattern. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to come all the way down the front of this build, and right in the center, I'm going to put my little tripwire hook, and I'm going to grab some new blocks. I'm going to grab some iron bars, some fence. I'm going to grab item frames. I am also going to grab a bed. I'm also going to grab a end rod, some white banners, some levers, some buttons, and uh, let's grab these. Now these are optional. Um, I think they're really good, so I'm going to put them in. I'm going to come all the way down the back here, and I'm going to dig down, and I'm going to place one of those there one of those there. This is just for a little bit of extra detail. Item frames on the corners. And inside those item frames, I'm just going to put a bed. Like so. And around here again. Like that. And I'm just going to close this off. Because I don't need that open anymore. With your fence gates, what you want to do is place them directly underneath. Just like that. And then with your white banners, I'm just going to pop them on the mud flaps just like that and what I'm thinking as well is putting a wall right through the center so it's going to be covered off like that it looks a little bit, a little bit better beautiful now on the back here you can actually cover this all in white so if we cover this all in white it's up to you you can use iron blocks if you want I'm just gonna leave mine white and then I'm going to grab a lever and I'm going to paste that there and a lever at the top, just like that. And then bring in my end rod and place that on top, like so. Beautiful. Now with your levers as well, we're going to place one next to it. And down the bottom, we're going to place one on the edge, like that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to run all the way down the bottom again. And we're going to grab our next set of blocks. We are also going to grab some iron bars. Uh, we're going to grab some more buttons. And we're also going to grab some extra signs as well. And anything else we need? No, I think we've got this now. Oh, we've got to get some stairs which I haven't got so we'll go and get some quartz stairs and we'll pop them in as well okay so back down the end we go right here we're going to place our signs in just like that and right here we're going to grab our iron bars we're going to run them all the way to the top and back down again just like that and one down here we'll bring that all the way up to there and back down again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to put our buttons in. We're going to place them anywhere you want, guys. Just space them out. I've got like five up the top there. Four. Put one there and we'll stick one down the bottom. And we can also do some here and here. It's up to where you want to put them. Now I'm just going to grab a lever again. We're going to put a lever at the top there, going to bring that down. And a lever at the bottom. Going to bring our iron bars, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So we've got that kind of look. Cool as that. And let's just grab another button and just drop that there. Because we can. Now the next step is with your actual court stairs. We're going to come in by three blocks, so one, two, and three, and we're going to knock out this section here, and we're just going to make a pattern once again, whatever way you want to make a pattern as. Let's do that, and one upside down again. We've got that kind of wording. But inside here, what you want to do is you want to come over to the top and cover any little bits in. Put one here and one here, and one at the back just like that so that way it just covers everything off neat and tidy 
From this point, we're going to grab our signs. I'm going to place one, two, and three. So it's all covered off. Grab our iron bars. We're going to pop our iron bars in there and a button. And then last couple of things we've got to do is grab ourselves a stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs. Come over to the center of the truck, which will be right here. I'm going to knock out the first one. I'm going to count back by three. So one, two, three. Then right, one, two, three. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to filter the stairs upside down. We're going to grab our slab and we're going to bring the slab out and run that directly underneath. Just like that. Now with these stone slabs, we're going to dig down here and we're going to come behind the pistons and we're going to do the same as what we did down there. Is we're going to leave a two space gap and then we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're just going to close that off like that. So you've got that kind of look. Beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is your TNT transport logistics trailer in Minecraft. Anyway, guys, that is the tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to drop that like, place a comment down below, Twitter, Instagram, and all that jazz sitting in the description like always. Be sure to stick around for Let's Builds, live streams, and more vehicle tutorials, and I shall see you all on the next video.